So <laughs> before that, because when I mentioned the word AR, they'll be like, hey, what? They really don't know what is it. And some of them have actually expressed that what if I use AR, it would be a failure. Hi, my name is Putri Sofia Amir Nudin. I'm a law lecturer and also program director for Master of Laws program. Uh, that's a funny story. It started off from me overhearing my colleagues' conversation. It was Kelly T and also Dr. Jason Turner in my small cubicle. So they were talking about AR learning, whether or not it can be implemented to university students. So that's where I got curious. I asked more questions to Kelly and also Dr. Jason. So when they explained, so that's why I thought, okay, maybe I should give it a try. Because land law <laughs> is known to be one of the driest, uh, technical, complicated module for year two students. So that's why I thought it's time to try different things. Uh, so basically, I did my own research on which AR application that is user friendly. So I came across a few. So I chose layer application. My biggest lesson is never give up because whatever things that I try to introduce I will face resistance from my students and a lot of people also they are not confident with the new technology or new pedagogy that I'm introducing because you you will never know until you have actually tried it so as of March 2018 I introduced new concept in teaching whereby I introduced neuro linguistic programming into legal skills and methods module so from there, I encourage students to incorporate NLP skills so that they become more observant. Ever since I won the AMAS award last year, so I received a lot of inquiries on how to use AR. They are more than free to come and knock on my door again and then ask questions, so I'll be more than happy to teach them. So I try to challenge myself. Last year, I joined International University Carnival on e-learning. From there, I introduced my innovation. I received silver medal. Uh, as of this year, I joined again and I incorporate neuro linguistic programming together with augmented reality because it's a totally new thing and nobody knows what I'm doing. Uh, but I have evidence that it's actually good for students. So from there, I receive a gold medal. So my next project, hopefully, I'm trying to introduce learning law using virtual technology. So it will be interesting for students to make use of VR in learning law. So hopefully by January, I can start doing everything and can launch it in August 2019.